This is going to be a bit of an impromptu video because I only just ran across it myself. So last year I bought this game on Steam called Drug Dealer Simulator, which is a stealth and business management game that has a demo if you want to try it. Part of the game is that there's a wall that runs between two halves of the city that the game takes place in, and in order to move your product, you have to figure out ways to subvert that wall. Well, one of those ways is the sewer system, which, at release, was basically just a fast travel system in which you walked up to a sewer manhole, pressed F, and you'd pop back up on the other side of the wall. Now recently, wanting to make that system a little bit more involved, they made it so that when you go in, there's actually a sewer down there and you have to walk between the manholes in order to get to where you're going. Now when I read that update, I thought, okay, it's going to be the same thing, but you have to walk down a hallway. Fine. But when I went and played the game, that wasn't the case at all. I went down into the tunnel, and first of all, I was greeted with this. What is with that soundscape? And what's more, this is not just walking between two locations so you can climb the ladder and get out. It is a sprawling labyrinth that runs under the entire game world. I mean, it is literally the size of the game. And the whole thing is just full of dead ends and twisting corners and locked gates and blocked pathways. I mean, you could get lost down here for a long, long time if you're trying to find somewhere specific. As you might expect, this whole area is just full of graffiti, most of which is pretty par for the course for this game, but not all of it. There's also tons of evidence that there's people living down here. There's a couple of empty tents, and plenty more mattresses scattered about, as well as a whole ton of objects that make you wonder how they even got down here in the first place. One area has an air mattress with a guitar and a portable grill, as well as a knife on the ground, which kind of makes me wonder whose space I'm intruding on. There are signs of life everywhere, but unlike the surface, you never see anyone else down here. Or at least, I didn't. For some reason, every once in a while you'll come upon a weird wooden door that can't be opened. They look completely out of place, and I don't know why they're down here, especially since they're so infrequent. I think I discovered an easter egg behind one of them. I first noticed it when I turned off my flashlight for a second, and realized that there was light coming through the cracks. Looking inside reveals a table, with some books and jars scattered about the surface. Pinned to the wall is a picture of what looks like it might be some kind of corporate boardroom? It's kind of hard to tell from here. I really don't know what to make of this, which makes it a lot creepier in my own mind. I tried coming back down at night to see if anything would be different, but as far as I can tell, it's just darker. Which doesn't really make a lot of sense when you think about it. The game normally has a bleakly comedic tone, which makes the transition to this disturbing environment all the more jarring. I just don't understand why they leaned so hard into this creepy atmosphere. I think part of what makes it so creepy is the fact that it's such a huge update that's so out of place and was added over a year after release, which makes it feel like it's not even really supposed to be there. Like I somehow ended up with some weird creepypasta version of the game. The creepy soundscape, combined with the surreal nature of the update itself, are tied together by just how long the game makes you spend down here. Allowing the atmosphere to really get to you, to the point where I really don't like spending time down here. Thankfully the game still offers alternatives and I'm more than happy to pay the maintenance tunnel guy at this point, however rude he may be. There's not a whole lot of chatter on this game, so please let me know in the comments if there's anything else down here that I missed. 